Welcome, creatures of all shapes and sizes, to Banged Up with Bruce Oldham, aka The Kid. This is an action sports podcast, the likes of which the world may never have seen before and may never see again. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, welcome, you slimy snails, to uh, another episode of the podcast. Our guest today is Bailey McDonald, super nice person, amazing snowboarder, uh, actually snowboards at the same hill as me. Everybody's got to give her a round of applause because we had a guest planned for this week and didn't happen and she came through last minute to be the guest on today's podcast. So it's a nice short and sweet podcast with Bailey, ask a few questions about snowboarding, competing in World Cups, all that good stuff, all that jazz. And we run through it, and uh, yeah, it's really enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. She's an awesome person. She really saved my ass today to get this podcast out on uh, on Tuesday. And yeah, I, I really appreciate it. If you guys want to get any coffee that is not in my mug right now, because there's no coffee in my mug, drank it already. If you can't tell, I'm hyper. Uh, go to Four Sigmatic. Their coffee is absolutely amazing. They have the Lion's Mane coffee, which is what I drink. Pretty much all I drink. Uh, for coffee, and you can use discount code the kid all caps on the website, and you get 25% off, I believe. So yeah, if you want coffee, good coffee, uh, head over there. And with that being said, we're gonna dive into today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, yeah, all the best from the kid. Here we go. One. We're screen recording. Everything's up. Everything's live. Excellent. I think we are Gucci. This she picks up. Hey, what's yeah. up? Yo. What's going on? Not much, just living it up in my basement at the moment. You're looking nice, you outside, everything, wow. Yeah, I'm in the backyard. Hell yeah, <laughs> no better spot for a podcast, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, you been well? Yeah, been dealing with everything pretty good. Yeah, crazy like, times, eh? Yeah, it's insane. Like, the whole world is, like, insane right now. Everything's slowly falling <laughs> apart. First we got Corona, then we got this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It's truly sad. Oh, well. We'll, we'll shed some positivity on some people today, I guess. We'll try to lighten yeah. some moods or something. <laughs> something along yeah. those lines. <laughs> yeah. All right, Spread so, positivity. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. For those of you guys who don't know Bailey, Bailey's a snowboarder um, from Barrie, Ontario. Do you still li- do you live in Barrie? Yeah, I live like 10 minutes outside of Barrie. It's in like this little village okay, forest, sweet. but yeah. 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 Basically from Barry, skis Ma- or boards Mount St. Louis, same hill as me, and absolutely tears it up. Super stoked to have you on the podcast. Um, basically, basically the, this podcast, all I do is I just ask people some questions, like action sports people like yourself, talk about some shit, uh, I don't know, have some fun, and uh, kind of go over go over a little bit of this. Uh, I kind of like to start off the podcast just by like talking about who you are in general, so you can kind of go over that and uh, maybe tell these guys about your past and how you got into snowboarding and uh, action sports in general. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know, I've always been into, like, board sports, yep. whatever it was, like, started with skateboarding when I was, like, four, maybe, and that just, like, clicked it for me, like, I wanted to snowboard, I wanted to surf, like, anything with a board, pretty much, but I did start skiing. No way. So, yeah, like when That's I was like awesome. two. Yep. But, yeah, I started skateboarding and then, I don't know, r- around seven, I started snowboarding, like, just cruising and stuff, and, yeah, and I started competing at, like, 15. Yep. Started training with uh, Simple Snowboarding at the time, it's called The Senders now. Yep. But, yeah, awesome group yeah. of people there at Mount St. Louis. Oh, yeah. Those guys are They're real. wicked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it just took off, I guess, from from there. Yeah, and just kind of became something that you love to do. I saw that you posted a video yeah. or a picture of a dirt bike lately. You've been getting into dirt biking, or is that something that you've always kind of been doing? Yeah, I've always kind of dirt biked, like, since, yeah, around the same age, six. Sick, yeah. We, uh, <laughs> I used to dirt bike a while, and then I sold my bike. I haven't touched one in, like, three years, but my friend has a huge farm property, and, uh, we went out the other weekend and we planned out a whole dirt bike track ring at excavators for one weekend and just build a sick ass dirt bike track. We got all planned no. out. Yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm going to have to so buy sick. one now. I was like, oh, just help build. And then yeah. once we started planning it out, I'm like, shit, I'm going to have to spend like three grand on a bike again. Uh, but I'm kind of stoked. Yeah. It'll be fun summer yeah. activities, especially since everything's closed. So if you ever want a place to oh, ride yeah. and you get it's set so up, good. you're more than welcome to come. Um, yeah. All right, so, I mean, a nice question I got for you is basically, what's your favorite aspect of snowboarding? Like, 
everybody likes everything like about skiing, snowboarding, like action sports. For me personally, I like being able to push myself and scare myself. And like, I don't know. I also like just being able to, I don't know, be like, screw you guys. I can do this and you can't. But what's, uh, yeah. I also like, there's also the camaraderie and stuff about it. But uh, what really sticks out for you for snowboarding and stuff and what made you kind of fall in love with it and decide it's something you want to do? Yeah, I just like, because I, I live right in the middle of like pretty much all four resorts. Yep. So it was just like the thing to do with your friends after school. Like we'd go to Snow Valley from three to ten. Yep. Until it closed and just spread. So yeah, like all of my friends do it and I love riding with them and stuff, but also, like, you just feel awesome landing a sick trick, like, and the feeling you get when you learn something is, like, it's unexplainable. Yeah. And then putting your own style on it and stuff, yeah, I love it. <laughs> totally, I, I totally, I totally get that, yeah. Like, when you land that yeah. new trick that you've been trying for a while, you have to battle it out to get a trick, it's like, that feeling of accomplishment, yeah. and it's like, suck it, it's, it feels good, yeah, yeah it's awesome. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, that's it. yeah. and for you, you, you're you living, like, close to Barry, you said, so that's, like, what's the farthest, or what's the closest hill for you? The closest is Snow Valley, which mm. is, like, eight-minute drive, but... Oh, so that's nothing. Uh, yeah. I, pardon? That's not far at all. That's awesome. No, no. Yeah. It's but close. Snow Valley's kind of a... Not the, not yeah, the world's best hill, it's a hill, smaller but. hill. But it's yeah. fun, yeah. I've been there, like, once or twice. It's, like... Not the not the biggest hill, but it's fun, especially if you're going up just shredding with friends and stuff. That'd be awesome. Great way yeah, to come and up. It's they have a really flowy park, even though it's small. Like that's yeah. where I learned everything. So it's like it's rooted there. Yeah, that's how you learn the basics and stuff. That's awesome. Yeah. And right now you compete in slope style and big air. I believe you don't do half pipe. Yeah, I used to do half pipe a little bit, but yeah, mainly big air and slope. Yeah, and you're on the Canadian yeah. snowboard team at the moment, right? Like, I travel around with them and stuff. I'm yeah. mainly focused on being with the senders and yeah. that, but... Because you um, you're very yeah, centered I, with I them, too. Around. Yeah, that's sick. And Because you've competed in some World Cups, and you've competed in some pretty big events, and I was going to ask you just what what's that like, and what's how do you deal with the pressure, and uh, all that other stuff. Because I personally, like, for me, it took me, like, up until now just to figure out how to deal with the pressure of contests, to get in the right mindset, to do all that stuff, just to, like actually dial in a run and it's still impossible like it's still very hard but is yeah. there, how, do, how do you deal with that and what's uh what's that experience like for you uh well like every contest i'm still kind of learning to deal with it but yeah i don't know i just try and ride like i do every day like it's just another day yeah same people like you always compete with and and that so i just try to um kind of ignore the whole pressure thing and put in my music and just flow have as much flow. fun as possible. Yeah, just yeah. try and flow. Hell yeah, that's sick. Yeah. Sweet. All right, well then, um, kind of trailing off of that, uh, I would like, uh, what's the coolest place or trip you've been on through snowboarding or like with snowboarding? Yeah, um, I don't know. Oh, I think we're glitching out here. We might have a technical breakdown once again on the podcast. Sorry, Bailey. We just we're breaking down on the the connections here. The wireless fires are not working well. All the young yeah, kids, okay. all the young kids come home in the house, and then Bruce loses his Wi-Fi immediately. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you just want to say that one more time? I I heard like Prague, and that was about it. So. Yeah, yeah. I went to Prague, like in the Czech Republic. Yep. And I was sick, and. I don't know. Italy's pretty sweet, though, too. Like, it's wicked there. The, the parks are perfect in Europe. <laughs> yeah, I've seen... I, I've never got to ride a park in Europe, which has definitely been something on my mind for a while, and I'm going to have to make that yeah. happen. And they look insane. It just looks like everything's built to perfection and just super, super, yeah. super... Yeah, it looks insane. Um, so, uh, I mean, most of these questions have been kind of like... I, I'm not really trying to, like, make this podcast very vulgar or anything, especially... In the younger stages, maybe we can get a little more people on the podcast. But um, I was just going to ask you, how important is it, in your opinion, for working out, eating, and being healthy and all that stuff when it comes to competing in, in sports and everything like that, and especially in action sports? Yeah, it's, it's super important. Like, if you're not, like, strong enough to handle a lot of impact and 
the amount of bales mm-hmm. you take and stuff, then you're not going to get very far. So it's super important to keep up with the whole strength and conditioning thing and eating healthy is a huge part of it. Like I have a problem with eating candy, but <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like me, basically action sports, like especially when I was growing up, all I want to, I don't want to eat healthy. I don't really want to go to the gym. I just want to send my meat and just try to learn new tricks. I think a lot of kids come up like that, but especially nowadays with how competitive everything is, I think it's like, it's almost like you like to be at the top and how like you really have to be focused on like all the little aspects that like just help you that 1%, which is, I mean, it depends on what you're doing for contests like me and you, like you definitely have to focus on that stuff, I think. So that's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, I I don't want to take up all your time. So I'll ask you one more question and I'll jet out here. We'll do a quick little podcast. I think I really appreciate you coming on because did yeah, not have a guest. I didn't have a guest for today. I had one, and then <laughs> people keep bailing. People like last minute crazy shits going yeah, on, not yeah. able to do it. So I really appreciate it. Um, what's uh, what's the plan for the future? What's what's Bailey's plan for the future? What's moving forward? What are you thinking? What's the big yeah, plan? Yeah, so I'm just trying to see how this whole COVID thing like resolves. But yeah. I hope to compete next year and travel around with like the senders and stuff, and mm-hmm. just keep going, keep pushing. Sick. That's I, the biggest thing. I guess the deeper dive yeah. into that would be where do you see yourself five years from now? Yeah. Um, I would love to go to the Olympics. Yeah. Like, that's always been a dream of mine. Um, yeah, just competing at the world stage, that would be the ultimate five-year goal. Hell yeah. For sure. That's yeah. awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on. I'm just going to end everything here. All right. Well, that was our podcast for today with Bailey McDonald. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see more of in the podcast, questions you'd like to ask. Uh, if you have any guests or people you think should come on the podcast or you yourself want to come on the podcast, uh, you can either hit me up on YouTube or Instagram or like text me or whatever. But the more people we have on the podcast, the better. So let me know. And uh If you want to come on and you are an interesting, savvy young person, then I would love to talk spears with you. All right. Catch you next time. Peace.